Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got one SBC right now that is taking over this game. Every single time I load into a game, specifically Foot Champs, he is in everybody's team. We're going to talk about that, how it's moving the market, and all the radioactive content that was dropped yesterday, whether it was dropped on time, before content, or... A little bit late. There was a late evolution that was added yesterday. If you missed it, we're going to talk about a lot of things related to radioactive cards today on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about, first of all, the cards that are in packs. And once again, we've explained it. This is EA showing it to us very plainly right here in front of us. These cards are sweet because you just plug and play them into any team and they get chemistry. That is the best part about these cards, which means that you can try basically any of them and put them in your team add a manager or basically just use an icon in your team to get them on full chem guys the best part about this again is that you can put Mazrawi, Valverde and Oshawala in, in your team they don't link at all but with one icon they're all on full chem it's awesome that's the coolest part about this and this team is a conglomeration of a lot of different leagues and nationalities which makes for some fun cards that haven't gotten boost yet this year to be released i look at this team and i think there's some solid cards in here ea did a decent job with some of the upgrades nani got a really massive boost a favorite for a promo card every single year they didn't give him the five star skill moves though that was one thing we're a little disappointed with him uh some of the upgrades and stats are pretty small as well like messy stat upgrade from his gold card he got four physical but plus one and a couple of plus twos it is a little underwhelming especially for how expensive he is but again this is a messy that you can actually get chemistry on and you can link and use to his full potential and a lot of these cards like kavicha it was hard to do otherwise so it's a nice team and for the pack weight like guys it's very similar i would say to like the thunderstruck promo in my opinion these cards are decently packable of course there's a lot of fodder ones you already have like four cards that are down here at literal discard value uh which by the way like we always say with promo cards buy one put it in the club if you've got over a couple hundred thousand coins because this looks like a card that could be primed for an evolution and end up going up in price a decent amount because it links to basically everything right or not everything but it gets chemistry for itself very easily and that could be nice for an evo down the line if the card looks cracked especially shakiri i packed him from the free 83 times three that they gave out yesterday he's got five star skills four star weak foot the stats aren't that good but one evo you never know. So I think it's a decent team. They gave some big big pace boosts out there, like Erickson got a big boost. Uh, the Cassie card looks really nice for a cheap beast. You've got a really nice Araujo. Benzema didn't get that big of a boost, in my opinion. I don't know why he's so expensive. I think it's just the rarity. They changed up some playstyle pluses. This Masraoui card has to be one of the most confusing ones for me. He was extinct at 190,000 coins yesterday, and I don't understand why he's this much. He just seems to be weirdly rare on the market like when i search up his card i search there's only a couple pages of an 87 rated promo card this is a type of card that you would expect to be supplied a lot more even though his gold is an 82 rated so it's like he's not that unpackable of a card to begin with there must be something in the coding that makes this card more rare he does have a really really nice play style plus jockey plus which is insane i'm sure that attributes to his pace or to his card price a little bit and his pace probably attributes to him being a little bit more expensive but it's a nice promo team it really is a really nice promo team and i'm excited for upgrade packs to come out this week and all the packs that we can get right now because like those cards like any of them that you pack are kind of cool that you can just put in your team and at least try out so that's the cards and packs we'll talk a little bit more about packs and market and all that stuff in a bit there's a lot of other content to go over so we should probably cover that let's go to objectives because guys this promo, it's the objectives and the SBC content that is truly carrying it. First of all, we have the radioactive Eric Abayi that was dropped yesterday. One of the fun things about this is you have to use a Super League player, so you can use Nani or you can use... Um What's his name? Zaha, of course, from the promo team. Put them in your squad. Go play some weekend league games with them and then work on this objective, getting it done at the same time. That's kind of cool. But the biggest dub about all of this is the radioactive advent calendar which is basically like a daily login sbc but guys take a look at this 
It goes all the way to Christmas, 25 times on the Get Festive is finally the last day where this will be able to be completed. Now, the only problem is right now it says that it's expiring in 23 days, 13 hours, which they're going to have to extend it, I think, to be able to let us get it done by the time this completes because, you know, it's 25 days from now. This is only out for 24 days, so they got to do it one more time, I think, or at least extend it for one more day. You've got loan icons in here. You've got player picks. You've got an 80 times 10, like every couple of days. This is basically just EA giving out free fodder to us for the entire month. And at the very end as well, you get an 84 plus RTTK Trailblazer Centurions triple threat player pick. W, like this is awesome. This is content that makes you log on to the game every day. Do that one bronze player daily login advent SPC and get some good fodder in return. I'm a big fan, GG's EA. Also the daily play play two games a day guys it is very much worth it. even if it's like going into a squad battles game while you're not paying attention try to get this done as many times as you can because you get some really nice packs along the way for this as well it's only out for the next week for the next six days uh you have the opportunity to get 83 double 84 plus if you can get this done it's actually worth it and then an 84 three at the end so that's all you have to do is complete the daily play objective which is just play two games you get a lone radioactive player an 81 double and an 82 double like again ea is just handing out fodder guys that is how it feels now let's go to spcs and talk about some stuff inside of here first of all we'll go to the upgrade packs we finally got the team of the league player pick back it is unlimited repeatable it's only out for five days four days uh, and, and change now it's the same exact requirements as before and as expected team of the week cards are dropping in value for two reasons right the sbcs that were holding them up in value have gone away or and are slowly going away and then also people had to buy them now they can go out on the market and buy them all team of the weeks are right around 25k so they've dropped off in half but once again there's still a lot of team of the weeks required in sbcs these cards could fluctuate during the weekend so keep a close eye on them i don't know if i'm going to be buying them today but it is finally nice to see team of the weeks getting cheaper so that it is a lot easier for us especially now with that player pick being out too to complete other sbcs so that was nice to have back but let's talk about the player sbcs too guys let's talk about First of all, the Griezmann player of the month that was dropped yesterday before content, we were shocked to see the rating of this SBC. 89 rated Griezmann. It's the same rating as his inform, which was not expected at all. They didn't upgrade the weak foot. It's a very small upgrade. Plus one pace, shooting, and passing from his inform card, and that's it. Yes, you have a dynamic image. Yes, you still have the finesse plus. They even added a play style of first touch, which is nice, but it's coming in around 519,000 coins, albeit it only is three squads. So when you first look at it, when we first looked at it on stream, we were like, okay, that looks cheap. But then you look at the actual price and you're like, is it really worth it? His gold card is an 88 and this card is 519,000 coins of value, and it's an 89. I would rate this SBC a 5 out of 10 because it's a small number of SBCs. So if you want to get it done and you want to rock a Griezmann for a long time this year, you can get it done. But also, it doesn't feel like it's that good of value at the same time. So it's a little bit of an expensive card for the boost that he got. If he was this price but 90 rated and had a couple more stats in all the different categories and maybe a four-star weak foot, then it would be, okay, this is great. But... That's not the SBC that's really making waves in this game. The SBC that is making waves in this game, and we actually have to go to my club for it, because like everybody else yesterday, I did this SBC basically straight away. It is the Abamyang. This guy was leaked a couple hours before content. We had no idea he was coming until it was leaked. We thought we were getting screening R, right? We talked about that yesterday. He might be coming later on this weekend. But Abamyang, four-star, four-star, with the rapid plus play style, and the price is the biggest W of this. And just, Abamyang is always good in game, man. When I saw the leak that Abamyang was coming out, like, Abamyang for me is a card with FIFA legendary status. It was one of the first team of the seasons that I packed ever in FIFA 16, FIFA 16, 17. If you go back on the YouTube channel, Sword Videos by Oldest, you'll see I packed him, one of my first ever videos, and I was stoked. I absolutely loved the card. He had a flashback last year. He has a couple of cards every single year, and he's always just kind of like OP. He's got finesse shot, chip shot rapid plus flare and trivella so he's got some of the best finishing traits with the trivella finesse and chip in the game with the pace that he has i've gone for the sniper chem style to keep him as lengthy as possible so that his sprint speed can be maximized running at full speed i think that is how i like to use this sort of card he's got 93 heading and jumping as well so he's actually pretty decent on crosses in terms of the stats and he's only 90k and again 
let me show you my team, right? I don't know why the faces are all messed up right now on the images and the cards, but I have no League One players in my team besides Aubameyang, and I've got Blanc at center back, and boom, I've got a full three chem a bombing. That's the best part about this, right? And I freaking love it. And that's the coolest part about the promo. And that's why this card is really taking over this game. Right, Every single game that I've loaded into foot champs, which I've played a few, every single game, this card is in it. And he's a top foot bin. He's got all the hype. He's got 2,500 upvotes. The SBC is 88% upvoted. Guys, I think honestly, it's a must do if you can get it done. It's a really, really good striker card. And it's just cheap, right? That is awesome. And also, I think I know why EA did this, right? It's a player that people know. And also, EA would wanted to make sure that everyone would understand how these radioactive cards work. So why not make a super cheap SBC that a lot of people wanted to do of a pacey striker to give them the opportunity to do that, right? So I think that's one of the reasons why EA made this so cheap, just so that EA people would understand like how the cards actually work um, and make a good card out of it. Now, of course, other strikers on the market are hurting in price a bit. Even look at Ronaldo, 406K. He was 470 yesterday. The Ronaldo uh, Trailblazers card is down and a lot of other strikers have either not risen much or they're just kind of stagnant because a lot of people sold some strikers because they got a new guy in their team and a new guy on the block and it is a bombing. So that's probably a trend you might see throughout the rest of this weekend is that strikers maybe a little bit just kind of hurt in value and maybe not rise as much as some of the other areas in the market because of this, uh, because of this card right here. Now, I almost started to say it. Let's go to the next thing, evolutions. We had no evolutions yesterday at the content drop, but then EA posted one on Instagram and three hours after content, they actually dropped one and I've already started it. This is abnormal for me. This evolution, guys, is a huge dub, at least in my opinion, because it's an opportunity, especially if you still have maybe some of those uh, golden glow up cards from a early on in the year Evo. You have the potential to get a really, really sick card, especially Kobe Mainu is in there. And then if you don't, like Chomeni, Rabio, a lot of good midfielders can come out of this. And it's really, really easy to do. Now, I put in my Mahmood, right? You guys remember I did him in the Golden Glow Up 1. Then I did Pacey Protector. And then I did Golden Glow Up 2. This is one of those, like, kind of multiple combination Evos from the earlier on in the year. This card was difficult to link. Not anymore after I finished this one off. It's only five games. Play... Uh, two rivals win three. So if you win three and play two, obviously you can combine those. That is five matches there and then two more in here. Sorry, not even five. That's three matches and then two more here to make it five. Five matches, that's it to get this done and assist five goals. You get incisive pass. The upgrade's not that insane, but for playing five games, it's phenomenal. And in the end, you get a card that has the um, radioactive style that is linkable with basically everything or linkable in teams, super duper easy. There are a lot of really good evil cards inside of here. Even if you don't already have something like Mahmood, like I do in my club, you know, you've got Rabio, whose gold card went up a good amount. Uh, one thing I want to show you is Chameni is one of the most popular evos from this. Just take a look and compare Chameni box to box centurions. Remember, this was a 150,000 coin and 40 games on top of that evolution. If you did this Chameni, I mean, yes, you've had the card for a little while, but it took a lot of grind and coins. This is basically almost the same upgrade. It's a little bit less in some areas. You're minus one pace, minus one shooting, but you're plus two passing, the same dribble, and then minus one defense and physical, but almost the same exact card with better passing than this one that you had to pay 150k and play 40 games for this one you is is free and you play four games so this is a w evo i mean i'm pretty sure on footbin it's like 90 something percent upvoted and there are so many cards in here like we talk about menu there are so many kind of evolution paths in here that are sick if you did the golden glow up for him look at the card that you can get now here we did a video on the second channel i'll link it right above here looking at a bunch of these different cards on stream so make sure you check that video out if you have more interest because uh there, there's a lot of good options inside of here but if you don't know who to do of course you can always wait that's the best thing about evos there might be some cards that come out in the future that you like mm. I'm glad that I waited. So that was most of the content yesterday on this game. Let's talk about the market. How is it impacting things? You're like, Nate, you have no coins. Where are your coins? Well, a lot of my coins at the moment are in flipping some of these radioactive cards 
into the content and into the day today on Saturday, right? A lot of these cards were extinct. Like almost half the team felt like it was extinct. Valverde right now shows is extinct again at 2.9 mil. He was 1.9 and was extinct. Looks like he's still struggling to stay on the market there. Some of these cards are really rare and that's why they're expensive. Like Valverde, like Messi, like Conte. The top tier, very rare, very difficult to pack, but it's the middle and the low tier that is seemingly pretty easy to pack. I look at Zinchenko and I think, okay, that trailblazer Andy Robertson has got some competition. This card was extinct yesterday. EA messed up the price range on him. He's now on the market. Um, Oshawala was extinct. Maserawi was extinct. They, they messed up those ranges. They are now back on the market. But these cards look like they're going to be pretty good to trade with because, again, people just want to plug and play them into their clubs. I flipped Araujo earlier today from 550k all the way to 625 and I right now have bought two Oshawalas after she was uh, extinct at 290 which was a crazy low price. Um, she is now kind of up a little bit from her low point of like 430. I picked up a couple there. She's about 460 to 470 and I could see these cards rising into today. We've seen that the last couple of Saturdays. These cards, people want to try them out. So she got the Playstyle Plus for Acrobatic. It's her first special card of the year. And again, it's easy to link, right? Power Shot, Quick Step, Rapid, and Trivella. That's a fun card. Um, I also picked up a couple of Zaha because he was a card yesterday that had some really good fluctuations. These, guard, these cards will be good to trade with. Like yesterday, he went from 130 all the way to 160 and has come, kind of come back down since then. Hit 120 and is now starting to come back up into the mid-120s. Again, I think people just want to try out a card like this. And again, it's easy to link. So that's the draw to them, right? I got to try out the Ericsson card. But, you know, some of these cards, guys, I do expect during the day today on Saturday to drop off. That's sort of the thing that we see, right? We see some rises into Saturday. And then once we get close to content today, I would expect to see these guys start to fall off a bit as people sell them, expecting lightning rounds. I do believe we'll get lightning rounds today. I don't know how crazy they will be, but we did get lightning rounds yesterday, and that was not a surprise. But I think what was a surprise for me is that they didn't run that many tradable lightning rounds. A couple of the lightning rounds that they that they put out were untradable, and even right now, there's none that are running. I would expect today for maybe the content drop time and two hours after that, some sort of lightning rounds will be put out and also probably another store pack in here. Of course, you can see that a lot of these are expiring today and they will refresh. Uh, but uh, you look at the pack weight, like the 300K pack, the radioactive gamma pack, which is a pretty expensive pack. It's an 81 times 60, 34% of a radioactive player. So I, again, packed a card right away in my first free pack that was given out yesterday. These cards seem a lot like the Thunderstruck cards in terms of the pack weight. And let's talk about those cards next because I know a lot of you guys have invested in the Thunderstruck cards, whether you bought a Bernardo, whether you bought somebody like Katoto, or maybe you bought somebody like Ansu Fati. These cards are doing very well. Nice. They're live cards and they are they're following the trend that most live cards do, guys. They are going up. Ansu Fati is 400,000 coins. And you're like, Nate, that's an expensive card. Well, check out Joe Gomez, who a lot of people bought for about 40 to 45K. He is approaching 50,000 coins. So some nice upgrades in price here as cards are getting closer to their actual upgrades. Guys, if you have these, here's the play, right? The safe route is to always to sell in the hype of a game. There was a crazy scare yesterday with Bremer, right? Bremer's almost 44,000 coins. He is starting to rise. But Juve played yesterday. He has also eclipsed his win, by the way. They won. So Bremer is going to go to an 87-rated card. He's going to get an update probably on Wednesday. But they had a scare because they were winning 1-0 for the entire game. And they were equalized on the 90th minute. It was one to one. People started panic selling this card. The card dropped. And then they scored two to one in like the 90th plus three. So he's getting his upgrade for the win. But selling into the hype is an opportunity here that you don't have to worry about with any of these cards. Like, you know, for whoever is playing today for a card that you might have, especially since we've already had some of the first upgrades here. Or maybe you're looking at somebody like Quadrado, who we've talked about a bit. Quadrado is a couple is a card that I bought a couple of. I have a couple like 114, 115K. One of the best right backs in the Serie A. But they have a tough matchup. They're playing Napoli. If he's up to 130,000 coins by the time the game comes around, I'm probably going to sell on the hype. Yes, if they win, he's going to go higher. But if they lose, he's probably going to go lower. That's one thing you'll see with this weekend too, is that if 
the teams lose that these cards represent since all of the hype and investing on these cards hinges around the upgrades especially if a card hasn't achieved an upgrade yet even if they have sometimes you'll see the price drop off even though it's on its way up and there's still more games to be played you'll see the price drop off as their club loses people will be like oh i gotta get out of my investment they lost it's not going good so that's something to watch out with these thunderstruck cards but they are moving nicely we also had Road to the Knockout upgrades yesterday. A lot of plus ones were given out. It was right after the content drop time, so it wasn't early. But we did have a crazy situation with Luis Openda. He's 88 rated, and guys, EA's already upgraded his card twice. He already went from an 85 to an 87 for them getting two wins in the competition. And also on the same week, a couple of weeks ago, actually about a month ago now in early November, at this time they got their second win, which is an upgrade. They also at the same time qualified for the knockouts because of how the points were shaking out in the group. So EA gave him a plus two, which is a plus one for the upgrade for the wins and plus one for qualifying for the knockouts. So he got both of those boxes checked. But then EA just randomly gave him a phantom upgrade yesterday and his card went to an 88 rated and his price absolutely exploded up almost a hundred thousand coins he went from three he went from 250 260 to now being 360 thousand coins so a crazy rise there but a lot of the other cards that did get upgraded did have some smaller price rises uh, i see joao pedro even with the striker abamyang he's up to 457k klaus is up um, you can probably take a look around the market at a number of these RTTK cards and notice the ones that got upgraded, their prices have started to rise. DePaul's 200. I flipped the Luis Diaz yesterday from the low 800s to the high 800s. Um, so yeah, that was happening yesterday. It is nice to see some of those upgrades coming through. And the last opportunity for some of these upgrades for cards like Bruno and for Osaman are going to be coming up. Even Kalulu technically still has a chance to get upgraded as well. That's going to be upcoming here pretty soon. So we're getting towards the end of the live aspect of those RTTKs. So if you still have some of those, just make sure you're aware of that situation in the value of those cards and how they might move. Last thing I want to talk about today, what to watch for on a Saturday SBC wise, we have a couple of leaks to discuss. Now, again, it's the same guys in terms of player SBCs that we looked at yesterday. It is Scriniar and Dia. I think Scriniar, I mean, I don't know when he's going to drop, but I'm looking forward to this SBC because, again, the PSG links and the potential for the links that he could supply to your squad with PSG players that you might already have or need. Um, you know, yes, there's a lot of PSG links out there, but. You've got Marquinhos as a center back, and now you have Skriniar, which is actually going to be nice. So I don't think he's going to be as cheap and as hyped as the Aubameyang was today, but I think he has potential because of his links. So I'm very interested in that. I do believe we'll get a player SBC today related to the radioactive promo, and it might be just a player SBC day today, guys. Honestly, Saturdays are usually a bit quiet. I do believe we will have more lightning rounds, and that will impact prices on the market for these radioactive cards. It'll be a good day to keep an eye on those. And uh, yeah, like I said, watch some panic selling pre-content maybe on a couple of these radioactives, especially the rare ones that people want to try out or just any card in general that people want to try out. The rare ones usually have the best fluctuations. These guys could dip at content and then rise for the couple hours afterwards as people go out and play foot champions and there's gameplay demand. Now, the other leak that we have is actually for another evolution. So the first evolution was a midfielder one, right? Center mid kind of position. This one is rumored to be a left back, even though this league does not specifically say it. We think it's going to be a left back evolution, which is called the relentless radioactive evolution. Um, and I would expect to see more leaks and more news about this today, but it looks like it might be a left back player. We don't know. But if the previous evolution that we got yesterday is any sort of indicator, it might be the ability to, we might have the ability to Evo a bit of a higher rated player, right? The rules for this Evo were what? Max 84 rated, max 85 pace and 85 dribbling with eight play styles. Like, thank you EA for actually increasing the level of players that we can actually evolve inside of these evos so if they do that sort of thing again for another evolution that might end up being a pretty good left back evo so watch out for some of your left backs out there if it is a good one it might impact some prices on the market of tradable players as people say okay i'm gonna do this evo and maybe sell the card that i have so that's kind of all the news and what's going on right now in this game uh, yeah, these cards are just cool, man. I, I, I look at this promo team and I'm like, I, I want to try half of these cards. And I think 
I might have to try them during the week, especially because they're so plug and play into a team. I want to try Nani. Of course, I want to try Erickson. I want to try Solosalai, Zaha, Gavardiol, Kessie, even Shakiri. Like, that. I pack him? I freak yeah, man. Let's try him. Throw him in the team. See what his five-star skills can do and have some fun. That's the bonus this promo. And that's what I'm excited for, especially for the upcoming content with SBCs and stuff this week and upgrade packs. I'd love to just have a chance at packing one of them, man. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the description. And make sure to go check the video that we did on the second channel about the evolutions. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. See you guys there. Peace.